Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an Aero Vortex tutorial. Now, I know what you're thinking. The reason you're here. Either you don't know what AV is, you want to know a little bit more about AV, or maybe what AV stands for. I think I may have previously just said it a couple seconds ago, but that stands for Aero Vortex. Now, what is Aero Vortex, Sean? I'm glad you asked. Aero Vortex is a program in which you can create some Stepmania charts, Eterna charts, or even Osu charts, and maybe possibly even a Quaver chart somehow. Now, this tutorial isn't going to be something completely crazy in depth and complex in terms of syncing things and all that craziness. This is just going to be a pretty basic um, introduction to the program and where to find it for you know, new mappers or experienced mappers looking to get off of the worst um, file editing software in the world, and that would be Osumania's editing for maps. So, if you are one of those um, lucky survivors after years of torment with that um, editor, and you're here, I'm just so glad you're here. I'm glad you survived. We're here for you. Um, but enough of the uh, sweet talk. Let's get right into it. So we've got our first drop down, that's file. We can open things. We can open previous files. We can open files from previous, um, like, you know, like we've got artists, I'm sorry, uh, steppers like Whitey or Fresh Chicken or Icy World, the iconic Icy World, right? You can open their files just like this, quite simple. Now we've got the recent files. So once you become a veteran of this software or program, you can look at recent thing that you've worked on. So we can look at um, a file like this. We can look at other files. Well, that one doesn't exist, but uh, you get the point. They're out here. Easy to use. Now, if we want to get back to our previous one, uh, we just look for it on the recent files list. Super, super easy, isn't it? Oh, God. Didn't mean to do that. Um, I was trying to just expand it for you guys so you can see a little bit better. So we've got the close. Now what the close does is just closing the, the file that you're working on, not the actual program. So that's kind of cool. Um, we've got the save. It's pretty self-explanatory. And we've got save as, which um, is quite important in um, dictating what you want this to go to. So if you want this to be Stepmania, Stepmania 5. Um, for Eterna, you're going to use Stepmania, the first tab, or the first option here. And we've got Osumania. Now these are instant. So when you save this, you can slap this folder right into Osumania Songs folder and you're going to have a, f uh, a file come right into the game. It won't be on sync. That's for another video. I do have a video on that. So if that's what you want to do, you can save it to whatever you'd like. Now we have the properties tab. We can uh, change the title, the subtitle, the artist, and the credit, which is the author of the sim file. Um, so I could... Um, Last letter is the name of this. Uh, the subtitle. Uh, I don't really have anything. Stamina. Right? It's going to be a stamina file. The artist is Rosa. No, uh, Pratt's and Nallis. And the credit, it can go to me. That's fine. We've got the audio file. This is what you're gonna. This is where you're gonna type in your audio file name. You can have a background. You can have a banner. Um, basically, these two things only apply to Eterna. And we have the preview of a song, which we will get to once we get to that option. So that is the properties. Now, obviously, you can exit the program. It's very simple, pretty self-explanatory. We've got the classic Microsoft Word commands, so you should all be very familiar with this. Uh, undo, redo, control, copy, paste, delete. Um, this doesn't delete your whole chart. This just deletes a note if you have it highlighted. So don't be too scared to use the delete button. Um, and then you're not going to really use these two, so don't worry about that. We've got the chart list. So if you have multiple difficulties on your sim file, you can toggle it in between these two and get an overhead bird's eye view on how many difficulties you have in Aero Vortex. We have the properties, so you can go more in depth on each difficulty. You can see the amount of steps, which would be another word for notes, uh, the jumps, the mines, the holds, rolls. Not sure what a warp is. Uh, note density, that's really cool, and the stream measures and the stream breakdown. I'm not too familiar with the stream breakdown, but um, it is there if you guys know what it does or is for. 
we've got the dancing bot. Very uh, unfamiliar with this. This is some sort of pad uh, thing going on here. We've got new chart. So if you'd like to create a second difficulty, this is what you are going to be doing when you begin on your first project in Aero Vortex. Aero Vortex. So you can type in your name as a step artist. You don't have to change all of this right away. So you got this blank. Let me just change this real quick for myself. So you've got this blank, um, this blank file to do things on. If you want to start mapping, you can use the left and right arrows. Now these colors down here um, show the different types of measures. So we've got fourth note, eighth, twelfth, sixteenth, twenty. If you want to, um, if you don't know what the colors are, if you look on the top left corner of the screen as you're typing or as you're hitting the left and right arrow keys, you can see the snap um, increments or measurements. So that's pretty neat. If you want to place something down, you can use one, two, three, and four uh, on your keyboard. So that is how you map. It's very, very nice. It's better than just, just clicking and placing notes, just saying. So that's awesome. Um, now we have previous chart and next chart. So you can use F5 and F6 if you have multiple difficulties. Very, very cool. If you were trying to, if you copy and pasted a brand new difficulty onto a new chart and you changed up the patterns a little bit, you can toggle between those two to sort of see it in real time if you wanted to. Could be useful. Uh, we've got convert. Not really gonna touch that probably ever. That's probably more ITG, Stepmania, old Stepmania pad related stuff. And you can choose to delete a chart, which would just delete one of the difficulties. Now we have notes. So quantization, quantization, quanti quantization. Basically, if you highlight this and you click one of these, it'll highlight every single note within that measure. So if I wanna get all the 12th notes, it'll highlight all of that for me. I don't have a good example of why you would use this, but if you wanted to, if you think you overdumped your whole map and you want to get rid of all the 16th notes, 16th notes, for example, you can quantize them and then press delete. Could be useful. Um, it selects steps, which are it's just a fancy word for notes. You can have mines, holds, and rolls. Uh, holds are pretty self-explanatory. Rolls are the ones for Eterna, I believe, to where you're going to have to keep clicking it so you don't drop the hold. Um, you can select before and after cursor, so everything after the cursor in the song or before. So after would select everything going forward and vice versa. So just like that. Now we have convert. So what convert does is if you have something highlighted, it can do some pretty cool things. So if you wanted to make an interesting pattern for mines, but you didn't want to lay them down mine by mine, you can make notes and then convert them. Um, the actual way to place notes is just about the same as laying down some regular notes. So what you're going to want to do is just hold shift while you're doing that. So you can place them if you're holding shift. Just like that. Pretty awesome, right? Very, very cool. Making some Harry Potter designs here, folks. You can convert holds into rolls. So that is the only known way that I know how to make the rolls. So if you want to make a hold, you hold down one of them, one of your four keys, and you can either use the up and down arrow keys to go up or down, or you can use your scroll wheel. If you wanted to convert these to rolls, which would be the tapping long notes, you just convert to rolls. Very, very nice. And you could also convert holds into steps. So if you want to get rid of your holds, you can bring them right back down to, where am I going here? Right back down to notes. Boom. Like I said, notes and steps, same thing. Now we have mirror. So if I wanted to mirror this, I can select it and I can mirror. Very, very simple. If you made a one minute long section and you're feeling lazy, or the song is the exact same, you can always just mirror it. So it's a little bit um, more equaled out on the hands during your play. Uh, expanding and compression is pretty self-explanatory. So if I wanted to expand this by a certain measurement, I can expand it by eighths, or I can compress it to eighths, 
or twelfths. So that is how that works. It'll keep shrinking until it basically can't shrink anymore. We've got generate. Um, I don't really use that, but um, you can give it a shot. I think it auto-generates like index patterns if you do it just right. Um, I don't use sync mode. Now, if you want to find the BPM to a file instantly, I'm going to show you how. You don't have to click to the beat. You don't have to Google it. You don't have to link. It'll give you a solid BPM if there is one, which is really, really cool. So, for example, we have Break, which is a pretty um, well-known song in the community. It's just one of those days when you don't want to wake up. So if you press F3, you can hear the tick of the beat. And as you can tell, that's definitely not in sync. So what we would do is go to adjust sync, find the BPM for us, and we will apply BPM. Now this is a f this is a very weird file or a very weird song. So this is actually incorrect, but 99% of the time you're going to find a BPM that works exactly with it. So the funny thing about this is that it's actually a um, better file if I doubled it. So if I went to 260 BPM, which is exactly double of what it is initially, it's going to sound much better. Now we're going to do this one more time with a normal file, so you can see how easy it is to actually get the BPM of something. So if I wanted boss file, right? Love this song. So if I want to find a BPM, it's right there. Usually it's 100%. There we go. That is how you use the adjust sync option. Uh, adjust tempo, I'm not too familiar with. This is a very basic instructional on how to make files. Um, the breakdown. I don't really use any, anything here. As soon as I go to tempo, I just use the adjust sync. I get the BPM set. I create my chart and I'm, I'm mapping. I'm ready to go. So we've got the audio. Um, so we've got here volume, the speed of the file, so you can change it by rates. You could change the beat tick, which displays a little click sound on every single beat here. And you can do the note tick, which will play every single note and give you a little tick, kind of like uh, if you press F7 on Step Mania. And you have convert to OGG, which will convert your MP3 play, or your MP3 file into a .OGG. Um, the reason that's on there, I believe, is just because certain builds of like Step Mania can only run .OGG, I believe, instead of MP3. If not, correct me. That's fine. And we have the view here, so um, we have a couple really important things here. So when you want to start your chart. Uh, I'm a down scroll player, so I immediately click reverse scroll or else I will be mapping uh, an up scroll. So I have that enabled and I have CMOD enabled. You do not want XMOD enabled, as you can see. Um, it looks a little weird, so we're going to make sure we have CMOD enabled. Uh, this is your waveform. So as soon as you apply filter, you'll see some of the audio waves. If you're familiar with D-Dream, it's very, very similar. Uh, there actually is a DDream preset. I'm not going to click it because you cannot revert your settings for your waveform if you change them. So, we have note skins. Now, normally, which is really weird, right? Hang on. Let's see here. Or actually, let's use our recent files. Let's try to make it seem like it's super useful. So, you go to... Um, note skins and you can change your note skin here if you're a bar player this might be easier for you to map you got your classic you can also edit these uh, if you just open the actual era vortex folder there's a bunch of like images and audio files you can edit if you didn't like the sounds um, the mini map so on the right side of your screen you can see a mini map over here tons of little different colors now you can have the notes displayed there or the density in which things are very dense i'm a big fan of the notes one got the background so if you want to hide the background you're more than welcome to um, if not hopefully you can just click it again oh boy okay we're gonna figure this out um, more visible not sure how to bring that all the way up right away but the option is there uh, you can also stretch letterbox and crop 
the background from this uh, drop down. The zoom, um, so basically it'll look like this. If you press zoom, it'll zoom out on your chart or you can zoom in. Now an easier way to do that is to hold control and use the scroll wheel just like that. Really nice and easy. So that's how you do that. Uh, they have a mini option here, which is really weird looking. I'm not sure who would use it or why, but you definitely are more than welcome to if you do want to do that to yourself. We change back to metal. We have a snap. Uh, so basically, it's just going to do what I, um, if you move the left and right arrows, you can change the snap like we went over earlier. This is just the world's longest 1991 way to change your snap. So thankfully we don't have to uh, resort to dropping down every single time to change or else that would make for some pretty bland files, I'm sure. We also have the cursor here, which will just move up and down just like that. It does the same thing as your scroll wheel. And you have status, which will show some things down here like BPM, measure, and time. So if you were interested in seeing the snap that you're actually on at all times, you can do that. Uh, and that's basically the basics of Aero Vortex. It's a lovely program. I die by it. Uh, I wouldn't map it anything else. Um, it's made me probably t five times better as a mapper, um, mostly just because D-Dream was up scroll only, so it's really nice to have down scroll and up scroll. Um, other than that, it's, it's overall amazing, and um, I've made hundreds and hundreds of files, and I don't think I would have come close to half uh, without the efficiency and optimizations that were made with Aero Vortex, I think that I think it's absolutely incredible. So, very grateful for it. Um, I hope this tutorial helped just a little bit uh, on an insight on how to use this in the very basic level. Uh, if you guys ever have any questions, I'd usually respond to all my comments on YouTube. So, if you have one, feel free to ask. Um, other than that, we have a little help tab over here. Sorry, I can't speak. I'm getting all emotional helping you guys out. We've got the shortcuts. So, if you ever forget anything or want to find it in a faster fashion, you're more than welcome to find it there. You can press escape to get rid of that screen. You have the message log, so it shows you things that you've done. If you've saved your file, it's going to tell you that. It's going to tell you what you've opened, closed, and saved. You've got a debug log, so in case anything is going wrong, um, you're able to see that there. You've gotten about. So this is an Arrow Vortex beta by Bram Fitzmeck van der Wilter. This build is February 25th, 2017. Um, I don't believe there's any work being done on this currently. So this is probably the most updated build. Uh, regardless, it's still incredible. And the most important one here is the donate. So if you are absolutely and passionately moved by this product, that you want to support the person who created it, I 100% recommend doing so. And you can do that here. It'll probably take you to your PayPal right away. So try not to do it on stream like I did myself. And that is it. That is it, folks. That is how you use Aero Vortex. If you guys have any questions, just like I said, leave them down below. Uh, if I've missed anything, please let me know. Uh, if you guys want any more specific tutorials in Aero Vortex or anything Mania related that I can help on, please let me know in the comments. Other than that, have a great day. Tachyon out.